inform us about what goes on in the law in Korea. Hello, Hyunja. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Trying to survive this hot and wet weather that we're getting. This is, uh, I guess, it's, it's summer. It seems a little bit early, but that's what we're doing anyways. Now, um, you've got an interesting topic today, and I, I guess maybe it's connected a little bit with our topic last week as well, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. Today's topic is, what should I do when my employer is bankrupt and I'm not paid? Mm, that's a big problem. Yeah. I don't think I can get any money back if, even if I win a lawsuit claiming unpaid wage against my broke employer. Right. Because if, if they're declaring bankruptcy, they're kind of protected from things like that. Yeah. Um, I don't I imagine you're going to explain us to us a little bit about the bankruptcy proceedings in Korea and how those work. And uh, yeah, this is a, not an uncommon situation. Schools fail, hagwons fail. And it's pretty tough if you're a foreign teacher and you're, this happens because you don't know what to do. Right. So tell us about it. Yeah. Uh, when the employee is not paid his wage and the employer is already gone on out of business, it sounds hopeless. Mm -hmm. But there is a safety net for the employees that you can take advantage of. Oh, okay. Well, let's hear about that. Yes. In Korea, there is a safety net for the unpaid employees. If the employee is not paid and the business is closed, the employee can petition to the Ministry of Employment and Labor, mm -hmm. and the government will pay partial partial of the unpaid wage out of wage security fund, oh. 임금 채권 보장 기금. Uh -huh. So as you may guess, the government has no responsibility for the employer's failure to pay the wage. Mm -hmm. But as there were social problems arising out of unpaid wages, Korean lawmakers enacted a law called Wage Claim Guarantee Act, and when an employee who meets the condition requests a payment of unpaid wage, mm -hmm. the government pays on behalf of the employer and it's financed by the 임금채권 보장기금. Okay. Yep. Well, that's a, that sounds good. We can get some money from the government. Yes. You know, as a, as a taxpayer, I'm not so happy that that money is being used to, to pay people out who didn't get paid by their businesses, as they should. But I'm happy to hear that those people are getting help. Yes. That's a good use of government. Yes. So let's uh, learn about that that program, the, uh, the general substitute payment. Yes. So let's first look at the general substitute payment. It's called 일반 채당금 제도 in Korean. Mm -hmm. You can utilize general substitute payment program in case your company is declared bankrupt by the court or that rehabilitation process has been initiated. Oh or when the local labor office finds the de facto bankruptcy of the business. Uh -huh. In this situation, the government will pay on behalf of the employer. Uh, they, can, they will pay the last three months' wage and the last three years' severance pay. Mm -hmm. The employee can receive maximum 18 million won. Oh. In total, yes. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, the employees who can benefit from this program are those who left a job within three years from the same date one year prior to the bankruptcy application was submitted. Uh, the statute of limitation for this program is two years, so the employee can claim their right only within two years from the declaration date of the bankruptcy. All right, and that's just to try and claim it, not, not for it to be finished. Yes. All right, but still better to do it earlier than later. Yeah, sure. Okay, sure. Um, there is another thing, in case the business is not closed, Oh. but the employer fails to pay the wage, mm -hmm. the employee can still get relatively small amount of unpaid wage from the government. Mm -hmm. It's called a 소액 채당금 제도. It's the small amount substitute payment. It's a bit different. Sure. Well, you mentioned last week mm -hmm. that when we're paid late, we have some options to try yes. and get our money back. Yes. So I guess this is if we've exhausted those options mm -hmm. and we've we filed a lawsuit. It's been found that they're supposed to pay us but they still aren't yeah. for some reason. So uh, then what happens? Yes. Uh, in this case, the business does not need to be declared bankrupt. Mm -hmm. First, it's for the employees who have the finalized court decision to over award the unpaid wage, yeah. like you said. So therefore, an, an employee should have filed a lawsuit against the employer at first in the court. Mm -hmm. And if you have the finalized court decision, you can visit the Korean Workers' Compensation and Welfare Service, 
근로복지공단 uh-huh. to apply for substitute payment, 최단금 신청. You must bring the application form for substitute payment, the uh, authenticated court decision, the confirmation that your employer did not pay you, mm-hmm. and any relevant documents. Okay. The maximum amount the government will contribute is limited to 10 million won for last three years severance and last three months wage mm-hmm. in case the court decision was finalized after July 1st, 2000, uh, 2019. Mm-hmm. If the court decision in favor of the employee has been finalized after 2017 July 1st, but before 2019 June 30th, the maximum amount under this program will be reduced to 4 million won. Oh, okay. Yeah, there was a, lo- a law change. I can see that. All yes. right. So, so basically, if, if my employer didn't pay me now mm-hmm. and I went through all the court proceedings yes. and everything, I would fall under the, the new amount of 10 million. Won. Sure. All right. That's still pretty good. Yeah. The employee who can claim this right is also a bit different. Mm -hmm. Uh, An an employee who filed a lawsuit for unpaid wage within two years after he left a job and has a finalized court decision and who requests a small amount substitute payment within one year Mm -hmm. from the date that the court decision was finalized, then he's qualified for this benefit. So it basically Uh means you should file a lawsuit, Within certain time, within two years after you left the job, mm-hmm. and whenever you got the court decision, you'd better apply for small amount substitute payment. Right, because the clock is ticking. Yes. I've only got, uh, I guess, two years to do that as mm-hmm. well, right? Yes. Okay. And in this case, the business must have been operated more than six months. Okay. So yep. it can't be some new new school that just opened. No. And then closed quickly, and no. I'm asking for this money. Yeah. Huh. That's interesting. So I guess maybe it's a little safer to take a job at schools that have been around for at least six months. Yes. All right. Okay. One thing to remember is that you cannot apply for both programs. Oh. So let's say if you applied for the small amount substitute payment, SWIG Chedangum, and got benefit, and you may want to file for a general substitute payment to be paid more, you can only get the amount that uh, sub- small su- small amount substitute payment is reducted. Oh, so you cannot get du- you cannot pay double. That makes sense. Yes, especially since it's not even coming from the employer. Yeah, it's yeah. coming from the government. So mm-hmm. I'm I'm quite happy that people can't double file. No. All right. Or you applied for a general substitute payment first and received a benefit. You got the bigger amount, so okay. you will not be allowed to file for a small amount substitute payment again. All right. But of course, if they don't pay me several times, mm-hmm. I could still apply again, right? Like in the future. Uh, so you got don't... another job yeah. and not paid again. Yeah. Or, or the, the same job. If the same job doesn't pay me, I do the lawsuit and everything. I do the small amount claim. Yeah, yeah. I think so. And, yes. then, and then I stay there for some reason. And then later they don't pay me again. I can still do it again. I'm not so sure about that. Part. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. So maybe if if your employer continues to not pay you on time, you should try and get a different job. Maybe, yeah. But I, I know it's not that it's not as it's not as easy as it sounds, right? <laughs> right. Okay. So if you find that your hakwan or company is closed, there is social safety net for the employees. You can get more information by visiting the local labor office or working with lawyers or labor issue experts. Mm. Well, that's good to hear. It sounds like the labor office is looking out for Weigukin teachers quite a bit more than it used to in the past. Yes. I, I, no, I, when I first came here 15 years ago, uh, I had some friends who were dealing with labor mm-hmm. problems. And when they would contact the labor office, they would just say, just talk to your school, talk to oh. them about it. It was always talk to them about it. And I don't think, I'm not sure if it was just the law or the the labor board. It didn't seem like it had a lot of teeth, mm. like they could really punish them. But, but this stuff sounds like now there's, there's concern about this. Yeah, sure. Also, if you are considering filing a lawsuit, then you can go to 법률구조공단, 
Mm-hmm. Korean Legal Aid Corporation. Okay. Yes, it's in, in Gwangju. It's in Jisandong near the court. Yeah. Uh, they provide pro bono legal service for this type of uh, legal issues. Oh. So. Really. Yeah. Okay, so right here in Gwangju, mm-hmm. there's there's a a legal recourse that's yes. free yes. for foreigners yes. or well for anyone. Ah, no, you should you should meet certain requirements. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, you have to meet certain requirements. But well, you can visit and yeah. see whether you meet that requirements. And many and people... And it'll be free. Can, yes. All right. Fair enough. We have to remember that. Us, uh, us Wegu can, can be cheap sometimes. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in today, Hyunju. We really appreciate it. And uh, we can l- take a look at this online, right? Sure. You can find this segment in video and my YouTube channel. You can find me by searching Korean Law 101 on YouTube. Fantastic. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me.